We're absolutely very excited about the expansion plans for the Milton Hospital. We are realizing that the hospital is way undersized for the population that Milton has now become. It was actually built to service about 30,000 people in the town of Milton and now we're growing and expanding to up to 100,000 people. Many of the key clinical services that are going to be in brand new um, facility um, here on the same site of the Milton District Hospital so we'll be building a new emergency department, new diagnostic imaging, a new maternal newborn unit which is really really important to us given all of the young families that are living in, in this community and we'll, we're actually going to be also expanding our level of service for maternal newborn and we will have a what we call a level 2A nursery now in, in that area. We'll have a brand new ICU um, unit and also our medical surgical unit is expanding substantially to, to meet the needs and finally the um, surgical services a new OR, new what we call PACU or recovery room and surger day surgery services will be all new at, on this same site of the hospital. Every day we feel we feel the pressure um, related to having enough inpatient capacity, for example. Um, we, are, we are running um, in at least a 99 or 100 percent occupancy. Um, we are often needing to um, um, operate what we call over-budgeted beds just to be able to ensure that patients who need an inpatient bed have them. There is some backup in our emergency department for, for inpatients. Again, our emergency department is, is undersized for the population that we're serving and we're um, finding that the patients who are coming in to seek the emergency services are increasingly more acutely ill as well. So we not only need more, more stretcher space and spaces, but we also need more resuscitation rooms and specialty rooms and so on. We certainly are um, accommodating the patients, I think, very well on a daily basis, but are looking forward to enhanced services and expanded services in our, our, in our redeveloped hospital. The other um, interesting thing or um, note, noteworthy thing here is that the uh, percentage of, of pediatric uh, patients who are seeking services in our emergency department is, is quite substantial in that 27 percent of our emergency visits are for pediatric uh, patients. We don't have any inpatient uh, pediatric beds uh, here at the Milton Hospital. When, when uh, pediatric patients need to be admitted. They're actually um, transferred either to our sister Oakville site or sometimes out to the tertiary care centers like Sick Children's Hospital in, in Toronto. We still won't have any inpatient beds um, in our expanded facility but we are planning for what we call a um, clinical decision unit or a pediatric observation short stay unit within the emergency department which will allow and enable us to uh, keep the little kitties who need to have some observation and short-term treatment for say 24 hours so they don't have to be transferred elsewhere because lots of time the pediatric patients perhaps with a head, head injury just need observation or they may need IV fluid hydration for a little time and so that way it enables them to have their um, treatment closer to home so we're looking forward to that. We are, are absolutely dependent on community support for equipment. Um, the Ministry of Health does not fund any of our capital equipment and our, when I mean by capital equipment uh, is any kind of equipment that we use every day. So it's anything from stretchers or bassinets to high-tech um, cardiac monitors, defibrillators. So all of that is totally dependent on the generosity of the community and we fundraise for all of that all of that equipment. This happens today but it's also going to happen very much uh, as we expand the hospital because well obviously with, with the hospital being bigger <laughs> we're going to need more equipment and we're always um, working to ensure that we have state-of-the-art equipment so that our patients get the absolute best uh, service possible. So, so that's why our community partners are absolutely critical. So what is the proposed timeline for the expansion project? Well, the, we think of the expansion project, project as really 
underway right now. There's lots and lots of planning going on uh, with the expectation that the groundbreaking will be in 2015 and a completion date of early 2018. Any of the equipment that we're buying right now will be going into the uh, new expanded hospital and so we are also um, spending some time to carefully identify what equipment needs we will have to ensure that we have everything we need uh, when the opening takes place.